what's going on hard body nation we've got the cleanest 1996 hard body nissan to ever have come through the shop this is the truck it is perfectly clean so uh this guy had one um when he was in high school and he saw this one come up for sale in washington we're here in arizona so uh i think it was super clean he bought it uh from the pictures had it shipped down anyways this thing is immaculately clean um so uh he's hooking it up the paints uh the clear coats peeling a little bit i think that's getting painted um we pulled the bed liner out and then we uh put a masterpiece of a bed liner back there anyways 194,000 miles uh this thing looks all original i mean there's no wear on the seats the the there's no wear on anything there's no wear on the armrest hand shifter nothing's cracked i mean this thing is clean so it is a uh extra ca extended cab four-wheel drive um it's not for you uh guys that used to run the streets in the mini trucks it's not a single cab two-wheel drive it is a uh four-wheel drive um truck but uh man this is clean i'll tell you what i wanted one for sure uh i just you know never got to own one but i think every guy ever would uh drive this truck so uh super cool uh so the price for a smaller truck is 340 bucks uh to go up and over and line off the outside of the truck and go all the way around is 120 bucks more so a lot of times guys will they're asked on these trucks uh well how much is it to go over the rails you're like 340 uh or it's 460 if you go over the rails and they go oh man that's a lot of money but really it's almost double the material more time uh and then the challenge the difficulty factor is through the roof with going over the rails so uh but what's funny this guy uh i told him the price and he's he's like okay cool uh when can we get it in so uh it's kind of cool um and then uh older trucks especially stuff like this it really is a work of art so uh again just had the guy uh let it stay the night so there wasn't any pressure on it and uh we got it masked uh i'm drowning in paperwork right now so i ended up uh we masked it i was done by like the truck was masked by five i think i, I did paperwork till like 10 I ended up shooting it at like midnight last night, but um, I for sure do some of my best work uh, at night, early in the morning when the uh, the front door's locked, the phone's finally done ringing. Uh, it's kind of nice to just me and uh, do what I love, which turns out is spraying bed liners. All right, guys, uh, let's check out this super clean um, truck. Uh, this blue paint is rad. The bed liner, the contrast of it is super cool. I think you guys are going to really like this truck, so let's go check it out. So we went over the rails with this one. I think at some point this truck probably had a camper on it. It had some uh, holes up here we deleted. But it had a, a wraparound uh, cover that was lower. And we didn't want to run the sidelines deep. So, and a lot of times the tailgates are offset. <laughs> so what we'll do is drop this down a little bit further. It's nice. Then the lines don't have to be, uh, I don't know. This, I'm a fan of doing it this way. You drop the tailgate down a little further. Then you can keep the side profile clean. This has more... Uh, I don't know, it's better for like ladders, surfboards, whatever, but um, anyways, what's special about this truck, the, the bed was perfectly straight, so it had a plastic liner uh, in there forever. There was some surface rust, but we grinded that out, uh, but super rad truck, knocked the ballpark out of the, uh, knocked the ball out of the ballpark. The joke was, uh, um, 
the mud flaps are all bent. I'm not sure how that happens, but it looks like it's going back to the future or something. But, uh, man, I really wish uh, I was the one that had found this truck. It runs like a champ. Tires are brand new. Uh, what a great buy. See, all this plastic is like nothing's cracked. I just sat in a garage up in Washington. Killer truck. One of the cooler trucks to come through the shop. All right, guys, Paul, give me a call if you need a bedliner. Thanks for checking out the video.